Ghana needs to find ways to turn this huge agricultural resources into solutions for global food security crisis that is unfolding and may plans to meet the challenge of rising food prices. Within the last few years, from 2005 to 2007, you can see corn went up 31%, rice 74%, soy 87%, and wheat 130%. And the rise in food commodities, FAO index since 2000, the percentage change you can see on the right side between 2000 and 2008, milk went up over 150%, oil and fats went up almost 300%, and grain 225%. Ghana needs to act quickly before this opportunity is seized by other countries. How many of us are aware, and I only discovered this a few months ago, that South South is 10,000 times more effective in treating cancer than chemotherapy. Not a thousand or a hundred, 10,000. And that has been proven uh, by the medical uh, institute, uh, in medical profession. Then there's another wonder food. Uh, I don't know how many of you know of it. Moringa. How many of you know about Moringa? I see one hand, two hands. Now Moringa, which I only discovered recently too, the common name in the other side of Bali. And the leaf of that plant has some incredible nutrients in it, as shown on the little uh, chart to the left. And what it says there, I read it very quickly. Vitamin A, 11 times that of carrot. Vitamin B1, 5 times that of cowpeas. Vitamin B2, 30 times that of almond. Vitamin C, 4 times that of orange. Protein, twice that of eggs. Fiber, 15 times that of wheat. Calcium, 17 times that of milk. Potassium, 18 times that of banana, and iron, 28 times that of spinach. Uh, it's not available in Ghana, but my good friend Eric was in Barbados, a short while ago, bought a couple of packets, brought me one. This is it here, Moringa. Uh, you can use it. Uh, you use one teaspoon whenever you drink any juice, smoothie, or water, anything that you drink. You just add one teaspoon, and those are the nutrients you get from Moringa. As I said, it grows wild in Ghana and is known as Sajan Bhaji. And it's just the leaf of the plant that is crushed into powder. And this little sachet is 20 US dollars. So you can know what the value are in there. There's another um, agricultural product that has been around for quite a while but has been brought to the fore within recent times. Australia and the US are racing to satisfy an insatiable and lucrative quinoa, is the pronunciation if I'm not incorrect, appetite. The three column, uh, and the paragraphs on the right are the ones that are highlighted in an article that was published in the Stavik News a few days ago, uh, February 27th. And it says, Australia and the United States, two of the world's biggest wheat exporters, are racing to become mass producers of South America's Superfood quinoa, and top of gluten free market expected to be worth more than 6 billion by 2018. Import, sorry. It also sells for around $3,000 a ton compared with wheat, which fetches under $300 a ton, and you can compare that in Guyana to rice and sugar, which is about the same $300. So it's 10 times the price of those uh, three commodities as we know. Demand grew 300% between 2007 and 2012, which is the current of the UN Food and Agricultural Organization, as the traditional suppliers in the form of Bolivia, Peru, Chile, and Ecuador struggled to meet demand from health conscious Western consumers. Cable prices doubled from 2007 to 2009 and rose almost unchecked until a peak in 2014, according to UN data. Demand for the nut flavored quinoa showed little sign of easing. The size of the global free market, the free market, is forecast to grow at 10% a year and to be worth more than 6.2 billion by 2018, according to the 2013 report by Research and Markets. 